If COVID-19 cases continue to surge, Florida is also seeing an increase in the number of new infections at prisons and also juvenile to justice facilities. News for Jack's reporter Lena Pringle is live and Lena, one of the hardest hit facilities is actually here in Northeast Florida and a lot of family members are just heartbroken by what's happening. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Melanie. Columbia Correctional Institution has the most cases in Florida. 1,216 inmates have tested positive for the virus. Back in May, that facility had only 92 cases. The number of uh, state prison inmates who have tested positive for COVID-19 continue to soar through Tuesday, reaching 6,946 cases, according to the Florida Department of Corrections. As of Tuesday, 46 inmates have died from the virus. 608 inmates tested positive at the Graceville Correctional Facility, 524 at Santa Rosa Correctional, and 444 at Lowell Correctional. Officials also say 1,486 correctional workers have tested positive for COVID-19. Day Correctional has the most with 136. The number of youths in Florida's juvenile justice system who have tested positive for COVID-19 has increased by more than 100 over the past week and is up by almost 90% over the past two weeks, according to new state numbers. The latest numbers from the Florida Department of Juvenile Justice show as of Tuesday, 290 youths in the system have tested positive and 221 juvenile justice workers have also tested positive. That was up from 188 youths and 179 workers on July 21st. According to the department, it has taken a series of steps to prevent the spread of the virus, including suspending visitation at the facilities, as well as monitoring staff and contractors. Live in Jacksonville, Lena Pringle, Channel 4, The Local Station.